Welcome to My Weekly Bitch Season 2 Episode 5. We've made it this far. We have successfully surpassed how many episodes we filmed in our first season. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Yay us. High five. We're getting a studio next year, so we're really excited about that. First off though, bone to pick, I got pulled over today for texting on my cell phone, which I tried to convince the cop that I was simply changing the song on my iPod, but he wasn't having it. It was really scary though. I'd like to point out that the cop was not in a vehicle, but on a bike and pulled up next to Ross's oh, yeah. window and was knocking on it. So I'm pretty sure he knew you were lying. Oh yeah. And then he proceeded to give me a lecture about being from New Mexico, which drives me crazy. He's like, how long have you lived here? You know, if you live here for more than seven days and you have to change your plates. And I was like, oh, I'm still in college, which is not true. But the worst part about it was, is I had to, I have all my old license and registrations in my glove, in my, this thing right here. And then I have my new one in the glove box. And right as the cop asked me for it, I remember it. I had vodka in my glove compartment. Not that I drink and drive, but I'm saying for Halloween, like my friends, we had a bunch of little shooter things. So when we were walking up and down the streets and stuff, it's like, oh fuck, if I open my glove box, there's going to be a thing of vodka. I'm like, what is that going to look like? So I proceed to start taking out all my old, <laughs> um, License and registration. And I'm like, oh, look at this one, and look at this one. He's like, 2002. I'm like, oh, here's this one. He's like, 2005. And I was like, oh, maybe it's not in here. And so, like, I go into my other side thing and I pull out all these photos that I have from over the years. I'm like, do you mind looking through these and stuff? And the guy's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy because I'm like, I have to show you my license and registration and insurance or I'm going to go to jail. He got very upset with me. And he's like, I'm going to go back to my car for a second. And I was like, great. So as he starts turning around, I dive into my glove box, rip out my thing that has the new stuff, and I'm like, and I slam it shut. And I was like, oh my god, I was like, I found it, here you go. And like, and he was like, are you okay, sir? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Note to sell. But I'm just really proud of myself that I remember that there was vodka Note in my glove sell. box. Note to sell. Keep all alcohol in, in the, the trunk. trunk. <laughs> Dames okay. had a run-in with the cops, too. Yeah, two weeks ago, we were cruising down the carpool lane, following the car in front of us, and all of a sudden, my sister starts slapping me on the arm, and she's like, what? She's like, this cop keeps pointing at us. And I'm like, okay. So I look over, and the cop keeps going like this. And I was like, okay. I was like, maybe he just wants me to get out of the carpool lane. So I got out of the carpool lane. He pulls in front of me, turns his lights on, and pulls over the car that was in front of me in the carpool lane, and then proceeds to pull up next to me and keep going like this. And I was like, okay, maybe he's just trying to get my attention. Maybe, like, I don't know, I have a busted taillight or something. Who knows? So I pull over and he's like, he walks over to the car. He's like, do you know why I pulled you over today? And I'm like, oh, well, no, because you just kept pointing at me. He's like, oh, I'm giving you a ticket. And I'd be like, I'm sorry, but this is the biggest bunch of bullshit ever considering the guy in front of me actually got like a legit pullover. Like if you're going to pull me over, at least point your lights on. Like he can't. That's not, you can't. Like, fine, if my guy saw me texting, fair enough. But he cannot pull you over for speeding if he's not using a radar gun and or behind you. Right? I mean, you have to fight that. I'm going to, A. You and should I, just kept going. If I, that's the thing, that's what I'm You should just be like, if fuck I, you. If I kept going, I wouldn't have gotten a ticket. But because I'm a good person, and, you know, like, if a cop is telling you something, trying to tell you something, obviously you're going to be like, oh, like, law enforcement. Like, I was like, go fuck yourself. I don't know. I was just pissed because, like, <clears throat> I am still mad about it every time I think about it. We're a little angry about it. Okay, so we're, we're gonna, gonna talk about something hilarious. So, James and I just had lunch before this, and we were walking down the street, and these people from like Help the Children Foundation were like accosting us. Come well, support. Well, come. What was it? Well, support? I was gonna say first of all, we first walked past them. We go to the restaurant, and one of the guys. Like, well, first of all, we were in a very deep. In conversation. Yes, about police officers. And we're walking and these guys are trying to get our attention and we're just totally ignoring them. And then one guy goes, nice shoes. And I turn around and I'm like, thanks. <laughs> so then obviously we knew we were going to walk past them while we were leaving the restaurant. So we do and we start talking to the guys. He's like, don't you want to help with starving children? It's like a dollar a day. And like you write them a letter it's once not, a month. It was like, you know, kids that like need help in other countries. Yeah. <laughs> and Dames' response is... I already have four siblings from other countries. I think I'm supporting them. <laughs> and I said, I'm self-centered and narcissistic to the point of disillusion. And I was like, I can't put anyone else's needs before my own. And I have no desire to write or help the starving children in Africa. And although I feel bad for them, there's nothing I can do about it. 
And then he was like, it's only 83 cents a day. And I'm, I'm like, that's still almost a dollar. Yeah, it's almost a dollar a day. And that's like $30 a month. Uh -huh, which and I could I'm use to buy my dinner. I'm a college student. Yeah. Dave goes, we're broke college students as we're like, I mean, I'm wearing I'm almost $1,000 worth of clothing right now. <laughs> I mean, so the director of the CIA is now the ex-director of the CIA, General something. Petraeus? I don't know. I can never but, pronounce his name right, and I always just want to call him Patronus. Yeah, whatever. So General <laughs> Patronus is now the ex-director of the CIA. and Because he stuck his dick in someone else's vagina. The woman, who cares? The woman who was writing his biography, he's allegedly been having an affair with, and so he stepped down from the CIA. But now, like, the Senate and the House and all these other people are like, oh my god, we have to do an internal investigation, and like, but why, why? did the FBI tell them? Who fucking cares? Why are we wasting federal funding on this That's just exactly, investigation? Exactly. That is so what's wrong with there this country. There's so many so, other things that could... He, is, he had an affair. Great. Who hasn't had an affair? It's like the new thing to do. Like, move on. Stop wasting our resources doing that. We're fighting a war on terror. Homeland Security. I don't know. There's nuclear weapons in North Korea. Why do we care that this man had an affair? Like, it should not be anywhere in our 24-hour news cycle. It drives me fucking crazy. That's that's what's wrong with this country. It's like, he could have been doing a good job. That's important. He could, it's like the Bill Clinton thing all over again. Like, he could have been doing a good job, and then this one thing goes and, like, tarnishes, like, you know, like, I'm not, a big, just dumb. I'm like, not it gets, following what the CIA does or anything, because, like, whatever. I just don't understand, like, why we care what people do in their private lives and how that affects their work. Like, if it's not affecting his job as a CIA intelligence officer, then I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. as long as he's keeping this country safe and doing what he's doing, he can go stick his dick in whatever hole he wants. And it's not like having an affair is a crime. No, it's a crime against the fucking Bible, but no one cares about that except people in Texas. <laughs> Who is, by the way, trying to secede from the Union. Hey, with a whole <laughs> list of other states, including Indiana, which I totally support. Of which, yeah, I, actually, because I hate the we should talk about this now. If states want to secede from the Union, by all means, go away. Because the list of states that want to move, <laughs> I'm more than happy to say, see ya, have fun, don't come Although, it to would be really funny, considering that two of the states that want that are on the list for secession are Indiana and Michigan, to have to, like, carry my passport to, like, cross the state border, <laughs> because tons of people from, like, the other side of Chicago, which is, like, on the Indiana side, like, come into work every day for Chicago. Could you imagine having to go to the passport yeah, control every, every day to get to work? Would we do that? I mean, like, I just think it's ridiculous that, like, Obviously, there was election. Some people are happy. Some people are not happy. A civil war. It's like who in their right mind is like, let's have a civil war. Like blah 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 blah. It's dumb. You're dumb. You're all dumb. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. It's only four years. Whether you like Obama or not, like there's no need to be like let's secede from the union. Like what is that going to achieve? You guys are going to run yourself, Texas. Yeah, right. Go fuck yourselves. You guys will secede and then fail miserably and want to come back in. And everyone's going to be like, go suck a dick. Then they're just going to join Mexico. Texas is going to join Mexico? I'm just Are you kidding. fucking kidding me? They hate Mexicans. I know, that was the whole point. They might Mexico. try and conquer Mexico, which would also be equally as entertaining. Also, another thing that we're both really annoyed at is people who post entire albums oh my on God. Instagram. What are like, you that doing? is not the point of Instagram. Instagram is not Facebook. I know Instagram is really cool, but this girl the other day who I'm friends with, who I will, will not be named, she was at a wedding and she literally posted every photo from the wedding. And I was like, Holy shit balls. Like Instagram is for that one special photo. That one photo that kind of encompasses everything that you've done. Or like a kind of artsy photo. But I don't need your whole fucking album. I don't want to see your whole fucking album on Instagram. Yeah, that's not the whole point, Snoop Dogg. I just I don't, I don't that's understand. not what Instagram's for. Get a Tumblr, use Facebook. Yes. But don't post the whole album. Because you're an idiot. And I fucking and hate you. And now I've unfollowed you, so that's sad. Because if I unfollowed you, it's all over. Oh yeah, because Ross is the who said what in all things Instagram. I am. I when I'm rich and famous, and I people are gonna be like, "Oh, I'm friends with him." Oh wait, no, I'm not. The singer. Sexual. Ooh, nice. Anywho, also things that have annoyed us this week is people eating in movie theaters. My biggest pet peeve is I refuse to eat in a movie theater, and I can't stand that people eat in movie theaters because they're like going to their popcorn, and it's like, <laughs> and then like they're drinking, and it's and like. The and they're chewing it's like crack, crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, crunch, and then crunch, that crunch, fucking crunch. overweight, obese American is like in the bottom of her Sour Patch bag, like licking the sugar off her fingers. So I'm like, That's shut me. the fuck up. <laughs> I can't stand it. I've, I've drawn a line. Like, I lash out at people now because you're in a movie and it's like a really quiet, sensitive part and like fucking M's dying in Skyfall and 
Spoiler alert. <laughs> and um, I haven't seen it yet, so thanks for that. And, and like, it's like a really sad moment. And then all of a sudden I hear like, <laughs> with the straw. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, don't eat right now. Just don't eat ever. Food should be banned from movie theaters. I can't, I don't, no, nothing. You should not allow to be take any food into a movie theater. And it, it's also promoting obesity in America, so. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate well, it. I never go to movies with people who eat. That's because you only go to movies with me. <laughs> and I don't eat. This week, our bitch of the week is Los Angeles Police Department and Glendale Police Department because you have better things to do than to give us tickets. Yeah. They're singling us out because we don't have California Exactly. Like That's this. like... That's it's discrimination. A, it was a hate crime for pulling me over. It was... And the only reason why I got pulled over is because I drive a Lexus and the cop who pulled me over had no teeth. I got pulled over because they probably He literally had one front tooth. Dirty Mexican. That went like this. From New Mexico with alcohol and weed in my car. Partially true. Anyway, we will see you in two, two weeks. weeks where happy I, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I will eat a like, turkey. I'm not eating anything. Fat. I'm going to look like a Holocaust victim. It's Christmas time. Hallelujah. The Hanukkah, Christmas trees outside. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Christmas. Kwanaka. Whatever the Seth uh, fucking na his name from the OCs made up holiday was. This is our new thing. What was. What's his name? These aren't spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. What was his